Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to God's Seller 7 channel. I'm Sister Barbara. I have Brother Dan with me today. Uh, Brother Dan has, let's see, what we will call another uh, The Lord Revealing. So here we go. Uh, the New King James Version Study Bible. I'm going to be in Revelation uh, chapter 16. Uh, let's see, verses 18 to 21. And there were noises and thunderings and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such a mighty and great earthquake, as had not occurred since men were on the earth. Now the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nation fell, and the great Babylon was remembered before God to give her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. Next I'm going to be in Revelation 17, uh, verse 8, the only one. And here we go. The beast that you saw was and is not, and will ascend out of the bottomless pit and go to perdition. And those who dwell on the earth will marvel whose names are not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world when they see the beast that was and is not and yet is. Then we're going to do uh, Revelation 18, 2 and 3. And he cried mightily with a loud voice saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become a dwelling place of demons, a prison for every false spirit, a cage for every unclean and hated bird. For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. The kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth have become rich through the abundance of her luxury. I think we know who we're talking about here. One more scripture, uh, 18, uh, 9 and 10. The kings of the earth who committed fornication and live luxuriously with her will weep and lament for her when they see the smoke of her burning standing at the distance for fear of her torment saying alas alas that great city Babylon that mighty city for one hour your judgment has come. Glad to be here again on God's Healer 7. I have a word from November 13th of 2012. Do not grow weary, for the fruits of thy labor shall soon be visible to see. Shall patience not be rewarded for its obedience? The tears of regret shall be seen no more. Shall time's efforts not be wasted if it does not serve my purpose? The truth speaks to all who listen. Shall my words not find a place in your heart. I shall reveal the fall of the great nation Babylon, for its days of glory are in the past. I shall humble its people, and its great cities shall be no more. They have turned away from me, and their cries I shall not hear. Their widows shall wail of its destruction. They are an abomination, and I see the evil in their hearts. I shall sweep clean their wickedness, and they shall be spoken of no more. They have put their gods in front of me, and their blood shall soak the lands. What they have created, I shall use against them. Have they forgotten that I am the final judgment? I shall pour out my wrath upon them, for they are an evil generation. They are hypocrites, for they call out my name for their own purpose. My anger for them is great, and my judgment shall be swift and final. They shall become their enemies' footstools. I shall cause them to fail, and all nations will know that I am against them. Sorrow's grip shall remain firmly on them, for I know them no more. Amen. Amen. And another, um, let's just say this, uh, the Lord pouring out his judgment. And I have a word of knowledge up there about the, after the storm comes the fire. Uh, the Lord told me a few days ago when I was praying, uh, He put upon me, and it's a scripture, I shall sweep clean the threshing floor with fire. And then uh, two nights ago, He showed me in a dream uh, the man that has the spirit of Antichrist. So I believe that this prophecy right here 
is uh, speaking of the coming judgment on America. So here we go. I shall reveal the fall of the great nation Babylon for its days of glory are in the past. So repent, be baptized in Jesus' name. You'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Uh, judgment's coming. You don't want to face that judgment and be on the side of the beast. So again, I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015. Uh, get your house in order because the time is coming. You're going to meet the king. God bless. Thank you, Brother Dan. Amen. Have a blessed day. Amen. Praise the Lord.